it's uh, lyrically, well, it, where it got its title from, certainly, where the whole kind of lyrical strand started was, um, I'd been working on the music for a while, and I hadn't got any vocals or any lyrics. And then one night I was driving home from the studio, and there, there'd been an accident, as there is, on, on the motorway. Quite a bad one. And all the, the motorway was down to one, one lane of traffic, and everyone was slowing down to look at the wreckage. And as they do when there's a kind of uh, situation like this, the police have put up signs saying, slow, incident. And it started to occur to me that incident is a very, it's a very detached word, a very mechanical word for something that presumably in most cases is very traumatic, you know, very dramatic, in this case fatal. Um, and I had a kind of, as I was driving through and these thoughts was going through my mind, I had this kind of slightly poetic, surreal moment, which is that I felt through through kind of empathy for the people that have been in the accident, I felt they were kind of in the car with me, and I felt that if I if I looked in the rearview mirror, I would see them sitting in the back seat. So it was a slightly surreal thing. It was kind of twilight zone moment, and but I liked what I liked ultimately was this kind of paradox between the, the very um, cold word, the incident, this functional word, the incident and the very traumatic events that it could be referring to. And so a lot of the songs that I started to write for the Incident Cycle began to be things I took from the media. For example, there's one song on there, <coughs> me, there's one piece on there called The Blind House, which is about this religious cult from Texas. Um, there was an incident in Texas where a, a cult was evacuated from a compound. And there were always the, all these teenage girls being marched out of the compound in formation by the police who had never set foot outside this compound. And the look on their faces of, of kind of bewilderment and confusion kind of said it all. Um, this was the first time they'd ever been out into the outside world. This was all they knew. All the lies they'd been fed by the, their, um, their cult leader was all they ever knew. And there was a picture printed in the newspaper of, of this line of girls being marched out of the compound and one of them was looking directly into the camera and her eyes just spoke so much to me. And so, uh, so eventually I started to take these stories from, from the media and kind of turn them into parts of the incident. So they were all incidents. But I also started to take things from my own life. Um, for example, Time Flies. Not necessarily an incident necessarily, but something that certainly changed the path of my life. And I think I began to think more about the incident as referring to, a more, in a more kind of general sense, the sense that after this thing, nothing will ever be the same again. And how that can relate to your own life, and how you can probably put your finger on five or six landmark moments in your life after which things were never the same again. It could be a relationship, it could be something that's very protracted, like a relationship that didn't go very well, or it could be something almost instantaneous. I mean, obviously an accident, a car accident, is something that happens in a split second, a moment of concentration lost, and your life changes, or potentially ends. So those kind of things that can change the path of your life, sometimes for the better, sometimes for the worse. I wrote a, I wrote a song called Kneel and Disconnect, which is about the day I decided I was going to throw a caution to the wind and be a professional musician. Um, it was a big thing. I didn't, I didn't know if I was going to be able to make a success of it or not. But the day I decided to give up my very well paid job in the computer industry was a, was a very landmark moment for me. So the incident really is about all of these things tied together. This idea about um, incidents being things that affect the path of your life and also tied in with this whole idea of taking stories from the media and trying somehow to look at them from a more personal human uh, perspective.